What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Gerald from Bank of Gerald here with another video update. Today is Monday, February the 19th, 2024. Uh, today, we're going to talk about something that we have not talked about in quite some time, um, what, but we're only talking about it because we were actually involved in uh, uh, some capacity. Of course, you guys all already know I don't talk about many things that I am not personally deposited in or many platforms or opportunities that I'm not in personally, um, but this is news about something that I was actually in and um it is about a receivership from amini fx now those of you that remember amini fx um it went down some time ago at least a year ago i'm not exactly sure the exact date or anything like that off the top of my head um, but what we do see is an update in the community chat that we were in about the receivership and i just wanted to bring that to you guys today and those of you that may be interested in this information i want to read it to you guys um and and share with you what has been shared in that community. So um, before we get started, though, I want to remind all of you that I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. I am not your financial advisor, right? I am just a dude on YouTube showing you guys how I am cranking out that crypto or whatever. You know, sometimes it ain't crypto in many different platforms, nothing more and nothing less than that. Now, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BLJ, make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man or anybody out there trying to take your information, get your information, get your crypto uh, unwillingly. Uh, don't let them get you. Stay diligent and vigilant in this space and in the comments section as well. Now, this notification, well, portions of this notification um, are going to be from December of 2023. And uh, it was recently pinned, and then there was an update just to re uh, uh, reiterate what was said, all right? Now, I didn't do an update on this back in December. This is December the 20th that we're going back to. Um, but it's close enough to, you know, to make some sense to those of you that were in Amini FX. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and read it. And it's pretty lengthy, so bear with me, but we're going to try to get through this as quickly as possible. And I'm not going to insult anybody's intelligence. You can always read it for yourself. Um, dear Amini FX user, uh, the receiver has decided to extend the deadline to submit your transactions on the Amini FX receivership user portal until, uh, to February the 26th, 2024. This is a deadline by which Amini FX users must verify, dispute, or add transactions. If that deadline passes without a user input, the receiver will presume that all transactions as originally listed on your transactions log are correct. The receiver has extended this deadline based on feedback he has received and requests to allow users more time to review the transactions on the user portal. In the coming weeks, the receiver will add communication functionality to the user portal. This will allow the receiver's team to communicate with the MediaFX users via the user portal. Critically, if the receiver has any follow-up questions or information on disputed transactions. Those communications will be handled using the user portal. Regular questions should still be emailed to AminiFX at stretto.com. If you have submitted your transactions, thank you. If you have not submitted your transactions, please do it as soon as possible. If you have any friends or family who have not submitted their transactions, please tell them to do it as soon or do so as soon as possible. The receiver has also updated the transaction verification procedures to clarify that the receiver will resolve any issues with verified transactions as they arise. The receiver anticipates this will affect a very small number of submitted transactions. In addition, we provide here answers to common questions you may have. What do you have to do by February 26, 2024, you may ask, right? Amini FX users must submit their transactions, verifying those transactions in the portal that are correct, disputing any transactions, adding members to a transaction, or adding any missing transaction. February 26th is the deadline for your initial submission. The receiver and his team have already begun working through open issues for submitted transactions. Even after the initial submission deadline passes, they will work with users after that date to resolve all remaining open issues as quickly as possible. Then they say, why is the receiver extending the deadline? Although response to although the response to the user portal has been tremendous, over two oh, I'm sorry over twenty thousand users have submitted their transactions. The receiver has received feedback that the community or from the community that the additional time would be beneficial in order to make sure everyone has a chance to review and submit their transaction. 
Next question is, what happens if there are still open issues on my account after February the 26th, 2024? It says that's okay. The receiver and his team are reviewing the disputed transactions and may reach out to users with additional questions or clarifications. You may receive an email from the receiver's team before or after the February 26, 2024 initial submission deadline responding to your submission. The receiver and his team are continuing to work through disputed and added transactions. The goal is to reduce the number of disputes that have been uh, adjudicated by the court. For any remaining disputed transactions, the receiver will make a submission to the court and users will have the opportunity or have an opportunity to respond. It then says, what if I miss the deadline? Do I lose my claim? If you miss the deadline, your transactions will be presumptively verified and you will lose the ability to add or dispute transactions. You will not lose any claim you may have. That claim will be based on the data available to the receiver, including the amount of withdrawals and deposits made by the user. It then says, will this extension delay my distri distribution? The answer is no. This extension will not delay any distribution to users. This extension will simply allow those users who needed a little extra time to do their initial submission. The receiver and his team will continue to work in parallel to resolve disputed and added transactions. It then goes to say the receiver cannot at this time state when the distribution will be made as there are still several steps that are required to confirm the claims of the users. Propose a plan of distribution and have that plan presented to and approved by the court. However, the extension of the deadline will not impact that timetable. And then it says, where do I go with questions? As always, you can email your questions to the receiver's team at Stretto at the email address aminifx at stretto.com. You can also call the receiver's team at 855-228-3721, which is toll free, or one 949-407-5078, which is their international line. All right. It says, kind regards, the Amini FX receivership team, um, 410 Exchange Suite 100, Irvine, California. All right. And then, of course, the note that came through yesterday on February the 18th, it says, it was a reminder, all right? Amini FX receiver's final deadline to verify and to submit your deposits is Monday, February the 26th at 5 p.m. Eastern, all right? Please do not wait until that time in case a problem arises and you need to fix something or find documentation, okay? Don't wait till the last minute. Pretty much just telling y'all, don't wait till the last minute. Please do not procrastinate. Do it today, all right? Do it today. So I just wanted to bring that information to you guys if you had not seen it. Of course, if you want to be in this group, there's already 6,000 people in this group, but if you want to be in this group, just send me a message on Telegram. Um, my Telegram handle should be in the description below the video. It's easy, at Bank of Gerald, nothing else, no spaces. Just spell it like it's spelled right here on YouTube, and you will find me very, very easily. Uh, and I will uh, get you the link to this Amenia FX community. Hopefully, a lot of you are already in it that were in Amini FX because they've been bringing information uh, to the community about the receiverships. Uh, me personally have already filled out the information that I've chosen to fill out. And then we're just waiting to see what happens uh, with this process. But uh, this is the first time that I've been uh, even remotely involved in, in a receivership of any kind. And I'm trying to see what the experience is like. I'm looking at it, and of course, this has taken a long enough time. Uh, but when the courts are involved and all that different stuff is involved, you know, you know, it's going to take forever all right so i'm just bringing information and i want the uh the community to have it those of you that have been trying to figure out what's going on with the media effects maybe or or maybe just wanted to hear me say something about it or whatever the case may be um i felt like it was appropriate today for sure um because there are deadlines involved and you don't want to miss them if you are interested in what the receivership can do uh and helping you uh, retrieve some of the funds that were or possibly deposited in this platform Put your 2FA on all the platforms that will allow you and all your wallets because crypto is indeed the wild, wild west, y'all. And if you ain't strapped, you're bound to get hacked, all right? Ask me how I know. It is not very fun at all. If you like this content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you want to be updated and notified about everything going on here at BOJ, just make sure you hit the notification bell as well. And please, sir, please, ma'am, don't get scammed by the WhatsApp man because if he gets you, there's nothing I can do to help you, all right? Stay diligent, stay vigilant in this space and in the comment section as well. And I will see y'all on the next one. Peace out.